Hello Karen Berniston fans. It's time for the August 2024 Designer Challenge and this month our challenge is Let the Music Play. I've used the music charms along with the postage collage to create the front of my card. I've also used a stamp from the music sentiments and I'm going to show you later in this video how I created the shadow for the stamp. So stay tuned for that. On the inside I've used the Lorna label along with the piano keys pop-up and another stamp from the music sentiments. I've linked all of the products that I've used below as well as instruction videos on how to assemble and use these dies. So now let's get started on making that shadow. Okay so let's talk a little bit about this stamp shadow. I wanted to stamp directly on my card not using another shape for this particular one and I knew that the black ink would not show up on the black part of course not very well on the red and then right where these little holes are I knew that would look very messy because the holes would show through the stamping so I decided I needed a shadow and to do that here's what I did I took the stamp with the this is the back smooth side and I laid the stamping side down on the paper I took a sharp pencil, I drew all the way around it, then I smoothed it out a little bit. It was not, it was a little bit wobbly and everything, but you can erase and figure that all out. So now, if I wanted to stamp on this particular shape, I could, if, if you have a stamp positioner, you can just position your stamp like that, pick it up with the lid and stamp it just as it is. However, if you do not have a stamp positioning tool, it's easy enough to just pick it up with your acrylic block. And it takes a little bit more to line it up, but it can be lined up pretty easily, just like that. You can stamp it, and you're going to get a really nice result. Now, I took one already and cut it out, so mine is here. I'm going to keep this with my stamp so that I have a pattern. Now, I have a scan and cut and I will put this pattern on the scan and cut so that each time I use this stamp I'll be able to cut out a shadow if I want to. But if you don't have a scan and cut you can just keep a piece like this. It, this is made of cardstock and it can be your pattern and every time you use that stamp just make this shadow for it. It's as easy as that. I also did the same thing with on a previous card and I did that using the die. So all I did was take the die, put it down on the paper, face down, I drew around it, and simply cut it out. It couldn't be any easier, and it gives a great effect. I hope this has been helpful for you. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.